One thing this is not about, it's not about local politics, it's not about state politics, it's not about national politics, it's not about international relations. It's not about those things. It's about people within the community getting to know each other. The Hopkinton Democratic Committee hosted an event called Get to Know Your Muslim Neighbor. The event was to allow residents to get to know neighbors from the Islamic Masumin Center in Hopkinton. Good evening. Uh, my name is uh, Mahmoud Jafri. I'm one of the founding members and the life trustee of the Islamic Masumin Center that was established here in Hopkinton almost 20 years ago. That used to be a house of worship uh, when we bought it. It does have a colorful history, as some of you who have been here for a long time are aware of that. But we bought it as, as, as a house of worship, and it continues to be a house of worship. When we came to Hopkinton, 9-11 uh, hadn't happened. And we were welcomed with open arms. And even after 9-11, those arms are still open. And we are still a welcome community. And we have done some interfaith work in the past with the houses of worship, uh, representing all three monotheistic uh, traditions of uh, Jewish tradition, Christian tradition, and of course, the Muslim tradition. Thank you very much, um, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. That is peace and blessings upon you uh, by the way of Islam. Uh, it's an honor and pleasure uh, for me uh, to be uh, amongst you uh, and uh, I grew up in India and you know in, in, uh, when we were growing up as kids our parents uh, were rest assured that you know uh, we were being taken care of even while they were not around us uh, and that's how we know neighbors and definitely the, the political rhetoric that we see today uh, you know, creating this divide and this disparity uh, of debate is definitely causing a lot of concerns to people like me who are uh, there to, uh, you know, uh, promote and propagate the faith that I believe in and also as a parent uh, of uh, two teenagers. Uh, and it was a great opportunity and I uh, appreciate the letter in the first place and then the invitation for us to be uh, called and present ourselves and you would know that at the end uh, that we have more commonalities than uh, differences. And, uh, and as a, a community, uh, which uh, as people who migrated and who came into this community, we have the same aspirations as you have. In fact, we have looked up to those aspirations and have worked very, very hard uh, to make it up to here. Um, uh, I grew up... Uh, going to a Protestant school, 150 year old Protestant school back in the city uh, that I come from uh, and uh, we were aspiring to go to school in American universities. I did my master's here in California and then uh, that was my previous life when I was an engineer and then I got into uh, you know, seminary and that's how I, I, I'm, I'm here right now. Attendees of the event asked questions about the Muslim religion and Islamic beliefs. Uh, we have mystical traditions uh, which, is, uh, which uh, you know, uh, resonates with uh, pretty much uh, every society, uh, you know, trying to connect uh, yourself to your own self and to, to God. Because one of the very famous uh, saying of uh, the Prophet of Islam is man arafa nafsak faqat arafa rabba. Whoever knows himself knows God. So there's a journey that starts from your own self that leads you to God. And Rumi is one of those uh, you know, people who actually uh, enable that journey. I would highly recommend uh, you guys uh, definitely looking into that tradition. Poetry is also a very, very strong uh, tradition. Um, as a matter of fact, um, a peak of eloquence is considered poetry in Islam. And uh, even Quran itself, uh, was revealed to Prophet Muhammad in form of sort of like poetry and rhythm and, and uh, um, a, a form of theater that uh, narrates uh, historical events or religious events is, is very much a uh, part and parcel of Islamic tradition. Calligraphy mm -hmm. is a form of art that uh, is very popular in, 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 in Islam and, and, and in that part of the world. Uh, and of course, I have to put in a plug for rugs because that's my business. <laughs> <laughs> Oriental carpets, uh, they have a lot of symbolism. 
that is inspired by Islamic faith and, and an Islamic tradition. And um, so, I mean, you know, it's humans are humans <coughs> and uh, religion uh, not necessarily puts a lid on, on their desire to express themselves.